Hey y'all, Pieces of Nika is back with another quick video. As you can see by the title, yes, I am going to take beignet mix and put it in this waffle iron because I don't know about y'all, but I am bored in the house and I'm in the house bored. Bored in the house and I'm in the house bored. So I decided I'll give this a try and see if how this will turn out. This is my first time trying this, so y'all are gonna try this with me. And if y'all have a waffle iron, you can find this beignet mix at your grocery store. I got mine from Kroger. And uh, yeah, I hope this don't stick but let's give it a try so in this bowl I have the beignet mix I've measured out because I know y'all are big about measurements which normally I don't use measurements I just be throwing stuff in there but a lot of people always go you need to tell us how much so we'll know how much okay so this is two cups in here two cups and then it calls for seven ounces of water but I'm actually going to use eight ounces of this silk almond milk vanilla to give it like a vanilla flavor and make it kind of sweet so that's what I have here is eight ounces so it can be a little watery because seven ounces it'll be a little bit thicker for beignets but we're not using it for that reason so we want it to be a little liquidy for this waffle iron so yeah we're just gonna pour the milk in here and we're gonna stir it so let me sit y'all down and I gotta put my milk up too. Once you mix it up, if you see that it's getting too thick, we're going to probably pull the milk back out and add more milk. But I'm thinking this is going to be the right consistency that we want. I did see a video where a lady added an egg and she added um, lemon extract and vanilla flavoring. I'm trying to decide if I want to add vanilla. I know I didn't want to add an egg in here. Hopefully that doesn't make a difference. But I just wanted to stick to the milk. But I think I am going to do just a little bit of the vanilla extract. So let's do that. I have some vanilla extract here. We're just gonna do, now I don't know the measurements on this. We're just gonna do a drop. <laughs> just a drop, because this stuff is strong. So boom, one drop. <laughs> Literally one drop is all you need for that stuff because it's very, very strong. So just, see, one drop, boom. So we're just gonna continue to stir this. Y'all, I don't know how this is about to turn out. I decided to turn my camera on so we can do this together because I'm bored. Parker's back there watching the video. It's my son, three years old. If you hear him, that's what he's doing. So I think this is a good consistency. I'm just gonna keep stirring it. I see a few little lumps in here. This may mix three, so now that that's mixed up, I'm going to plug in my waffle iron. So I'm going to add some olive oil to here too to help it not stick just a little bit. Eyeball that, so I'm gonna stir some of that in there. That should kind of help it not stick as well. All right, so next you're gonna take your Pam spray. We're just going to spray that down real good because we do not want this to stick. To this waffle iron so spray it down real good real good real good got it on lights on so now we just wait till it get hot which it won't take it long once we pull it off here we're going to top it with powdered sugar and then we're going to see how it turns out so i'll be right back all right so our waffle iron seems hot enough so we're just going to pour some of this in here it's kind of thick but that's what you want so you want to just kind of pour enough spin it around move it around some might spew out the sides and that's okay so there it is it's spreading so now we're just going to drop that down and we're gonna wait and we're gonna see what happens I'm excited myself I hope this don't be a disaster I might post it anyway even if it is a disaster because this will let somebody else know don't try this do not do this at home but if it's good, then yeah, we got a success. So we'll be back in a few minutes to see the outcome. Okay, y'all, so I see some steam coming out. So this is the moment of truth. My light went off, so that tells me it is ready. I'm nervous. Oh my gosh, it worked. Y'all honestly did not think this was gonna work. I really thought this was gonna be all stuck to this. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna take it out and put my powdered sugar on there. Ooh, hoo -hoo. hold on y'all, wait a minute, let me set y'all up. All right, let's take it out. Ooh, hoo -hoo. I'm excited. All right, let me get my pot of sugar. Here it is, you guys. All right, so now I'm gonna cut it and we're gonna bite into it. So let's do that. But before I do that, I'm gonna get my thumbnail together. Y'all take the first bite. Here you go. Ooh, yeah, bite right there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
That's good. Okay, you guys. I'm gonna make the other one for my husband. But I just wanted to do my first try on camera. It's good. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And I'll be seeing you guys in my next video. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Bye-bye.